Did you know that the FDA has guidelines for the sale of water-based solutions, such as lotions and creams, to which handcrafters should adhere? One aspect of FDA testing requires that your finished goods be practically free of contaminants, such as yeasts, mold, fungi, and bacteria. Have you ever wanted to test your products to ensure their sterility? Now you can without the expense of using an outside laboratory. You can do it yourself at home. Snowdrift Farms Check It Kits will inform you if your product contains any contaminants. Our Check It Kit will determine if you have a sterile process and if your product meets FDA requirements for cleanliness. Although the kit will not determine the exact types of colonies, this can be determined if needed by sending the Check It cultures to an analytical lab. The lighter colored side of the test contains agar and TTC and will determine if your solution contains any form of bacteria. Bacterial colonies are displayed as red dots. The darker side of the test contains malt agar and gives results for yeasts, mold, and fungi. On the malt side, the colonies appear as shiny, clear spots or hairy growths. Sterile swabs are included in the kit to allow easy sick products like lotions. We will demonstrate how to use the Check It test kit for a variety of different products. Two different sampling techniques can be used depending upon the product being tested. Liquids, like soaps and herbal astringents, should be sampled by dipping the slide into the liquid and holding it there for about five seconds. Allow the slide to drain and place it in its cover. Allow to incubate in a warm, undisturbed place. Ensure that the slides are protected from animals and children. I find the top of my refrigerator is an ideal spot for incubation. Active cultures can be a source of infection. Examine your slides every 24 hours for growth. Red dots begin to show bacterial colonies within 24 hours but continue to develop. The final bacteria picture is after five days of incubation. The mold colonies did not begin to appear until six days after sampling and appeared almost instantly as a large growth. The final mold picture is after seven days of incubation. Lotions and gels also need to be tested, but you cannot dip the slides into thick products like lotions and gels. Sterile swabs can be used to sample these products. First, remove one of the test incubators from the box as well as one set of sterile swabs. Open the cap or lid of your lotion and dip your sterile swabs into the lotion. Smear the lotion on the swab onto the paddles. Be sure to cover them completely. A thin coating is sufficient. Place the slide back into its cover and close tightly. Discard the swab. Get a blank label and write down what you are testing and the date. Apply label to the outside of the incubation unit as shown here. Record your testing and its results in a bound notebook. Label your test and place it in a cool, dry place away from the family traffic. Like I said, the top of your refrigerator is perfect. Check your slide after 24 hours, 48 hours, and 72 hours. Generally, a clean result, in other words, nothing's growing, after 72 hours means your product passes the sterility test for bacteria and yeast. Molds can take a little longer to develop, though. We have tested two lotions today. The first is an alcohol preserve lotion that has been in use for about six months. The second is a freshly prepared unpreserved lotion. The third example is the unpreserved lotion that has been contaminated by organisms as may occur in day-to-day -day use. This sequence shows the slides developing over several days. Both the preserved lotion and the fresh lotion test sterile but we have growth on the test slide from the contaminated unpreserved lotion. The red dots indicate that bacteria are present. Here we display the different types of growth on the slides. Bacterial colonies appear as red dots because when bacteria use the TTC indicator on the bacteria or lighter side of the test, they metabolize it and it turns red. Yeast colonies quickly appear as clear dots which are shown in the center slide. Mold and fungi appear as fuzzy growths, shown on the right. Wait at least 72 hours before proclaiming all your tests as negative prior to marketing your batch. You can read your slides and compare them with the illustrations included in your Check It test kit, as shown here. 
The used slides need to be sterilized before they can be thrown away. Simply pour some bleach water into the tube and shake. Place the cultures in a bag and throw away. If you get a result on the slide, you can safely assume that your process is not sterile. If you are not using a preservative, you may wish to rethink this decision. If you are using a preservative, it is ineffective against the germs and bugs that have infiltrated your lotion. You should determine the preservative's use rate is being applied correctly and that your lotion creation process is clean. You may also wish to test your ingredients. Heavily contaminated ingredients can render even the strongest preservatives ineffective. Fresh aloe gels are often loaded with microorganisms. Then again, you might want to rethink your packaging. Hands-free systems like lotion pumps or HDPE squeeze-type bottles are a good place to start. You can proceed to either market the batch your sample came from or go back to the drawing board and rethink your process so it remains sterile throughout and then retest. If you continue to receive positive results, you may wish to contact an analytical lab that can determine the exact types of colonies that are growing in your mix and tell you how to avoid them. For a little more than $4 a test, Snowdrift Farms Check It Kit Lab in a Box gives you peace of mind that what you sell meets or exceeds FDA guidelines.